going to find us and fingers crossed we did some stuff but I hope it works I hope I hope okay comments on what's going on I'm gonna make a rose tonight and I'm gonna hope and hope and hope that oh gosh no comments let me see if I turn it this way, what happens. Nope. I didn't think it was going to matter. Hi, Sandy. I'm still seeing no comments, but one at a time up there. So, I don't know, guys. I just don't know. I don't, I guess this is... Oh, I'm starting to see some. Hey, Darlene. Hi, Tracy. Hi, Sandy. Hey, Char. Oh, my gosh. Hey, Sally. My fingers are crossed. My fingers are crossed. I don't know. It stopped. <laughs> it stopped. Oh, gosh. All right, so we're gonna make a rose, and it takes a little bit to, to make one, so I'm gonna get going. Hi, Paula. I'm only seeing it on the phone. All right, I just, I don't know, guys. Hey, Melissa. So let me put the camera down, and we're gonna get started. I don't know it started working for a minute I didn't see I don't see us anymore I just see the little thing hey Jamie I don't know that's weird it started it started going and then it just quit so hi Alma oh well all right so to make the rose Hey, Sousa, you um, just use the normal holes. I didn't add any. Um, hi, Faye. <sighs> I'm so frustrated with this. And uh, Amanda and I did some stuff before I went live. Hey, Patricia, how are you feeling, girl? Uh, but it didn't make any difference, so... I don't know. I wrote to Facebook and Facebook has done, has not got back to me. Now let me turn it this way and see. Let me see if it makes a difference. Katie! Katie, I'm so down. I can't see anyone. I can't see comments, Katie. Hi, Sharon. All right. Let's get this show on the road. Hey, Venus. If I miss your comments, I apologize. I am only seeing one at a time. And if two people comment at once, then I probably won't see it. Oh. Girl, I've tried everything. I've tried everything. When I go out and come back in, it works for a couple minutes, and then it stops again. So, Hey, Ricky. How you doing? Okay. So, what you do, I cut... I'm so happy you're feeling better. Hi, Sharon. So, I cut the petals 9 inches. Refresh my page. I just did that. It'll work for a couple minutes and then it'll stop again. So, I'm going to put them in this way. 
for the center loops. And I don't think I need all this excess. I'm as good as a pig in a slot. <laughs> That's good, Ricky. Hey, Sandra. See if I go out, go out, get out, and come back. It'll work for a minute or two. And I'm putting the, the petals in this away. Welcome from Singapore again. So happy to have you. Hi, Sandra. Everyone say hi to Sandra. She is here from Singapore. My husband uh, was excited. This is 10 inch mesh, Char. When I said someone was here from Singapore because when he was in the service, he had his R&R &R in Singapore. Yeah, when I go out and come back in, it'll work for a minute and then it'll quit again. So, so yeah, he was quite thrilled to hear someone was here from Singapore. And you know what? I think, you know, it's been a long time since I made a rose, guys. A really long time. So, I don't think it'll hurt to put it in that I, the way I did. But, I am going to uh, keep doing it that way since I started it that way. But let me see what happens if I put it in this way, this way, toward the center. And see if it works that way. Yeah. I don't think it matters really which way you put the loops in at this point. And hey, Nelly. So you just start making your your um, bud. Just keep turning them toward each other. Actually, it works better if you put them out. So I am going to put them out. No. I don't want to get these mixed up because those are the 10 inch. When you make the outside row, those have to be 10 inches. These outside holes. So I'm just putting the four in the middle right now. audio will sound bad for viewers. Oh well. <laughs> Who cares? Can't do anything. So I don't care. <laughs> frustrated. Can't do a live like this. It's just so frustrating. But at least I could show you what I'm doing. Is that a large board? Yes, it is a large board. is it is first time watching this technique awesome welcome I wish I could see your name welcome who that's who said they were the first time watching everyone else can see so please welcome them all right cut my little stem off here we don't want all that excess. Hey, Diana. Hi, Brenda. Okay. All right. So now I have to go ahead and make the petals because I didn't make them all this time. Hey, Carolyn, girlfriend. So you fold them corner to corner and just scrunch it up 
till you get this little tail. Hey, Gary! And then you put it in the zip tie. And pull. It actually is better if you actually make your petals ahead of time because then you have the rubber band holding them. And uh, so you have double, hey May, double protection, which you don't really need. And it doesn't matter if you leave your rubber bands in because um, even if they break, you still have the zip ties. All right. Now, now give me one second. I want to try something. I'm going to turn on my iPad and see if that makes a difference. I can, I have to do this when I'm live because I can't check when I'm not live. So, I'm going to see if it matters because it really is important to me to see the, the comments. Alright, now, I already made the bud, so I am going to use my stapler, and I heard, uh, this is not my idea. I saw this, Jinx did this one night, so I'm stealing this from her. <laughs> I did ask her if she minded, of course she said no. But instead of gluing... I just discovered these beautiful wreaths. Awesome! So happy to have you. And I'm going to see, I ordered a better iPad. Okay, well we don't care about that. All we care about is the live. So get off of there. Hang with me, guys. Hang with me. I'm just going to try to find Facebook. Which is not easy. I have probably the worst iPad you could find. I'm uh, not iPad, sorry, um, laptop. So I'm getting rid of it. And I'm going to get another one. So normally, I mean, if you don't have a stapler like this, you can glue these together. Awesome, Gary. Um, but I really like this idea of stapling. Instead of using all that glue. missed that comment. Alright, let's continue.
Okay, I don't care. Oh, I still have one up there. I don't want to lose because these are all eight inches. You see how long it's taken me to log into my iPad, worthless iPad. <laughs> okay. We are going to continue. So a as you go, you just keep wrapping around that um, middle. Your laptop looks like mine. I had trouble once it kept updating itself. Yeah, this laptop is a piece of crap. It's horrible. Oh, for Christmas sake. All right, we're gonna have to continue making pedals now. Fold it corner to corner. Scrunch it. Hey, Brenda. So you have a little petal that looks like this and you'll have a little tail. And put it in your zip tie. time I get this iPad up, I'll be done. Yeah, I'll have a new iPad this weekend. I think this one's always been the worst piece of, you know what, it could be. Alright, so just fold corner to corner. What do you know? It's finally up. Scrunch it up. And put it in the next loop. And pull. What is the blue thing you're using? Is it a cutter of some sort? It is a zip tie gun or cable tie gun. It pulls the zip ties and it cuts them at the same time. If you do a lot of unique in the creek like I do, it's really a lifesaver. And you get them on Amazon. I do have an Amazon link that brings you right to Amazon's page. I appreciate it if you guys would click on my links. The good part about them is it takes you right to their page. You don't have to look for them. However, I mean, you just have to look for what you're 
doing. <laughs> you just have to look for your, um, you know, what you're, what you're looking to purchase. But it brings you right to the website, so. So I am stapling as I go. I love this idea because it saves you from using all that hot glue and you don't see your staples so plus at this point is where when you would add a rubber band which you don't have to do with this either. Oh my goodness, guys. Did I find it? Please tell me I found it. Please tell me. I found it, but I don't see any comments yet. <laughs> I found us. Again, fold corner to corner, scrunch it up, and put it in the zip tie. I'm drinking, Gary, I'm drinking. going to send her a message and ask when you I'm sorry I can't even see what it says don't take me somewhere else <clears throat> even on my iPad it's not working I don't know they hate me, they hate me. <laughs> Isn't that something? All right, I'm just gonna read what I can on this little phone. Cause I don't see anything there either. So guys, if there's something you really wanna ask me, unfortunately, you'll have to just send me a message. Keep on plugging. I'm just going to ask where you at. Hey, Janice. All right, just fold, scrunch it up. And stick it in the zip tie. So you're just going to continue to work around the center. Woo. That went fast. can't get this to work I might as well turn it off because I don't need any extra going on in here 
I just hope I didn't waste my money and buying a new laptop. made a white rose. Can you believe that? And I think they're so pretty. And I have never made a white rose. You can hear waste money. Uh, you can never waste money buying a new laptop. Yeah, but the whole purpose of buying it was for me to get comments and if I have, if I can't get the comments even with that, then it's a waste of money. I could just, I don't know, it's very depressing. I know this laptop is useless, really. It's going to be a toy for my granddaughter. She'll enjoy it. because I don't have any extra room, that's for sure. I had to turn off my iPad to reset it. Oh, well, maybe I'll try that. I'll turn it off and turn it back on. Wouldn't that be wonderful if it works? see where am I over here Okay, well, it's working so far, but we'll see. We'll see. What did I do with my scissors? Am I going crazy? How do I get back there? <laughs> say something so I see if that helped. doing a 
great job. Thanks, Brenda. Are you using fabric mesh? Yes, this is fabric mesh. I love the rose. Thank you, Katie. Not working. They're not working. So I just have to settle with the one comment on the camera. That's it. I'm hoping I'm not stapling too soon. Usually I do that after I'm done. So hopefully that's not going to be a problem. But this way it's easier to see all the petals. First time watching. Welcome! I can't see. Is it Amy? I'm sorry, Amy. I'm having a problem seeing comments, but if everyone would please welcome Amy. This is her first time with us. I didn't see that next comment. to the next row. On to the next row. I just wish there was someone you could actually talk to at Facebook, but there isn't. So, you just have to go with the punches. Again, these are 9 by 9 pieces. I'm sorry, 9 by 10. 10 inch mesh. Just folding them in half. Corner to corner. And putting them in the zip tie. I sent you stars. You need to sing. <laughs> Girl, thank you for the stars. But you don't want me singing. Thank you for the stars. I can't even see that. I can't even see you sending me stars. But I appreciate it so very much. I really appreciate it. I had Comcast here today. So, get this. I had Comcast here today. They put a new modem. You staple the mesh to the piece it's closest to. Yes. I am stapling it to the piece right behind it. And um, so, they put in a new modem. But guess what? Now my phone does, doesn't work. My house phone. 
I don't want them coming back here with all this stuff going on. So I don't know. I don't know what they're going to do to fix it, but it's ridiculous. They sent someone here who's only worked for the company. <laughs> Please don't sing. You don't have to worry about that girl. Who's only been with the company for three months. <sighs> Came from FedEx, he said. So obviously, you know, you send someone who, I mean, my, my problems are high tech. So, so my next step, since my husband, since I can, I'm going to go live from my house and I'm going to see, not today, of course, but. When I do group tomorrow night, my private group, if you're interested in my private group, it's $9.99 a month. And you could sign up with the PayPal subscription under my affiliate link. And then ask to join Connie's Peeps VIP. We'd love to have you. I try to do things in there that I don't normally do on a live. Flowers are high tech. <laughs> yeah. But I'm going to see if I go live from my house, if it makes a difference or not. If it does, then I'll know. I mean, you know, it must be something in here. That's the problem. Connie, that was me saying not to say hi. <laughs> right, Tom? I figured, because you're just a brat, that's why. <laughs> Don't worry, you're not going to get me to sing. But I do love the stars. Thank you. Thank you so much. I wish I could see you giving them to me. All right, we're making headway, making headway. So yeah, in my private group tomorrow at nine, I love how the rose is looking. White roses are so pretty. Thank you, yes, I agree. I so agree. I think that's Amy talking. I can't see. Oh, hush, Roxanne. There's no dang lizard in here. <laughs> Listen. I do have another modem that I actually paid for and was so upset because I got it from... It came... And it was used. And I paid $100 for this thing. But they wanted me to send it back to get me a refund. Honey, I missed it. Um, but I wasn't going to spend $40 to send it back. So, I should try to use it and see if it makes a difference. It's looking beautiful. Thank you, Brenda. Some of you I can see. Some of you, I mean your names, and some I can't. White roses remind me of Selena and Princess Diana. Yes. Isn't that funny? I have made so many roses. So many. And I've never made a white one. This is my first white one. And I think white roses are so pretty. I thought you, she has a frog. <laughs> no, the frog is gone. The frog, thank goodness, is gone. But you guys and your animals, you're bad.
trying to trying to freak me out. Like Katie with her killer she's always talking about. <laughs> I missed a couple petals. So, no, I think I got most of them. This is, I use, like I said, I usually go back to do this part. So this is kind of an experiment. Because when I go back to do it, you have to look for the petals. And this is making it a little easier. But I just don't want it to make it hard to fluff it. Katie gets excited about her killers. <laughs> yes, she does, Ricky. <laughs> she cracks me up with that killer stuff. Some new people that come in. Connie Reed. I can't, Tom. I can't go back to your message. Because I can't see them. There's no way for me to scroll back. She has had a mouse, lizards, frogs, many. <laughs> no, I haven't. I've never had a mouse, thank God. <laughs> no mouse. I thought it was my Mevo giving me the problem, but I tried to go live with my phone and I still couldn't see comments. But the weird part is, rat, <laughs> the weird part about this is when I watched the replay, I could see the comments. So it really doesn't make any sense. Hey, Linda. It really doesn't. The stapling to holding the petals in place is really good. Thanks, Brenda. Yes, I think it's a fabulous idea. I didn't, like I said, come up with it. I saw Jinx doing it one night and asked her if she minded if I stole her idea and she didn't so here I am I am hearing that man coming into my headphones again really can't cat Carol that is so strange I told you guys my father-in-law was a uh, radio ham operator I said Connie you have too much in your shed for <laughs> oh you're, you're bad Tom <laughs> you're just so bad hey Kelly Kathy guys if I screw up your names I'm sorry I can't hardly see them it's spooky it is I bet it is I can't imagine. I mean, I use earphones all the time, too, when I watch lives. And, um, that would definitely freak me out. Hi, Diane. I should put my glasses on. I might be able to see better. That might help, right? Because you can't see me anyway. I hate the way I look in glasses, so. Everyone having problems seeing comments on lives. Really, Michelle? Yeah, but this is going on for a way long time. And 
Hey Vivian, I was watching Amy. She didn't have any problems today. It's just, and I don't think, I don't think Damon ever has a problem. Unless he just reads them as they come up. But. I just want, I don't know, I don't know how we're going to be able to be able to play bingo like this. I mean, how could we play bingo? Well, I suppose we could. Because your names pop up at the top of the screen. I just can't see, you know, all the comments. So... I suppose we could still play. I just can't do my thank you gift because it's not fair because I can't, you know, can't see. Hi, Pat. So, we hit 7,500. Well, get this. So, I post, yay. Uh, you, you guys probably, some of you probably saw it, that I posted... I was so excited because we hit 7,500 and it was going, we were turning the cusp towards 8,000. Oh, what the heck. And then two people unfollowed. I thought, oh, why do people have to do this? So. But then I, I gained them again today, so I felt better. I thought, here I am bragging about 7,500, and, and we're down to, didn't make, we're down to 7,498 again. All right, are we done with that row? It looks like we are. Okay, on to the next row. Now, this row, I'm going to start putting the petals that way, in towards the middle, because we're getting close to the end, and I don't want to see these little tails sticking out. So we're going to start putting this row in, toward the middle. And it's good if you're going to staple, if you get this kind of a staple gun with the long handles, because then you can slip it down inside the pedal. <coughs> I also got those from Amazon, of course, because you know, I'm the Amazon queen. cut this tail? Maybe that's the problem. I did not cut it. You don't need these real long tails. Have you always stapled? No, I used to use hot glue. But this is such an easier way, and 
um, you don't have to use the clothes pins to hold it till it dries and all that stuff. So I love, I like this way much better. And I, the rose is actually my favorite flower. If, if anyone came in late, what type of mesh are you using? This is fabric mesh. Really? You the Amazon queen? I thought you lived in Florida. Not, <laughs> not a forest. You silly. Hey, Helen. If you use hot glue, then you have to use clothespins to hold them, and the clothespins get stuck, and such a pain. I'm new, and I love watching you. Ah, so happy to have you. I just wish I could see. You know what? I'm going to put my glasses on, because I want to see who's talking. So everyone, welcome, who just said they are new. I wish I could see who it was. Hey, Sue. Thank you. Connie, what a great idea using staples. Thank you, B. I can't take all the credit, though. I saw Jinx doing this first quite a while ago. Asked her if she minded. And she didn't, so I'm stealing her idea. Hey, Debbie. it's working out okay doing it as I go I was worried about that you're welcome Carol thank you for being here we always love all our newbies so the rose petal is another very easy petal I think. You just fold it corner to corner and you get this little mushroom looking rose petal. Put it in the zip tie. The hardest part of the rose is the outside row and you'll see why. You have to, um, you can use nine inch petals all the way around, except the outside row. You have this outside eight holes. Oh, you know what? That's a lot more than eight holes. Sorry, but what kind of mesh are you? This is fabric mesh. And I'm noticing that this is a lot more than eight holes, but you know what? I think we're just going to use eight holes. I'm wondering if the rows of outside staples rust and show through the mesh. Love the idea of stapling over gluing. Yes, I don't know, Jean. Um, most people, well, I can't, because the staples are inside, there is a chance, but 
Um, I would always spray my wreaths with a, if you're going to hang them outside in the elements, I spray them with a Krylon Clear non-yellowing indoor-outdoor spray. So that might protect them if that's what you're going to do. But <clears throat> most people hang roses inside, I think, rather than outside. I'm going to try to put it outside first, then I will spray also. Thanks. Awesome, Jean. Let me know how it works. Let me know, because I'd be curious to... So when you staple, though, make sure you go down, you know, not at the top. You're going down inside the flower petals. So I only count, I only did eight petals for the outside, and that's all I'm going to do. I'm going to see what happens, because it's, I guess... The new boards have more than eight petals, uh, holes on the outside. Is that going to be all white? Yes, Pat, with green leaves. I am going to put some leaves on it. I actually remembered to cut the leaves. I'm so nervous to try this. Oh, you don't have to be nervous, Amy. Listen, girl. If I can do it, anybody can do it. I'm telling you. <laughs> anybody can do it if I can do it. You'll buy it? Awesome, Pat. Thank you, girl. You can have it. is so awesome to me all the time. I just love my pack. <clears throat> yeah, I just can't, you know, I thought about it. I said, what color rose should I make? And... I love white roses when you see them. Pat says she'll buy it. Yes, I saw that. Thanks, Roxanne. This is uh, all fabric mesh. I was thrilled to finally see white fabric mesh. I could never find it before. They're starting to come out with a lot more colors for fabric mesh. They finally got the word, got the, what do you want to call it? It's looking beautiful. Thank you, Jean. I've been making wreaths for two years on these boards and still have not tried making the rose. Has always looked intimidating to me. Well, it is one of the harder flowers to make, but once you make one, it's, it's really not that bad. Like I said, the hardest row is this outside row. Um, and all you're, all you're doing is constantly folding around the middle. You know, what do you call that center? I, I called it in the beginning, now I can't think of it. The bud, the bud. <laughs> All 
the flat all the petals get wrapped around the bud. Now that I see you using the stapler, I may make one. Yes. The stapler wasn't, I just loved that idea. And like I said, most people want to keep flowers inside rather than put them outside. So, I mean, it can, you know, the mesh is definitely waterproof and all that. But, you know. This style of wreath is certainly beautiful. Thank you, Betty. Nothing prettier than a rose. Whenever I get flowers or someone gives me flowers, the only flowers I really like are the rose. Getting close. I have a feeling I didn't cut enough petals. Well, let's see. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four. I need to cut two more. Two more. I can remember actually the whole reason that I wanted Unique in the Creek boards was because I saw the rose. In fact, when I first started doing Unique in the Creek, the whole reason that I bought the boards was to do the rose. And at that time, you had to pay for the subscription to make the rose. That's how long ago it was. Gotta find a white foil mesh that would be such a shiny. Yes. Well, they have white. I had white with silver in it. But I didn't want silver. I wanted pure white. So... I thought that was prettier. Well, you're definitely find, seeing how much or how I do the, the fold. I didn't have many of these petals done ahead of time. I have someone on YouTube. By the way, if you are watching from YouTube, you are watching the replay. So I cannot answer your questions from the live. Hey, Donna. So you are... If you're watching from YouTube, you're watching the replay. So if you would like to message me, if you have questions, I will answer. But a lot of people think when they're watching that they're actually watching live. And they wonder why I don't answer them. It's because you're watching the replay. I 
it's a rose from another lady and that's what started me using the boards I still hang that rose on my front door right yep when I saw the rose that's what made me start using unique in the creek that was my sole purpose for buying the boards she's right on that I did that once But then, I just fell in love with them. I'm watching from YouTube. You're answering me. You liar, Tom. <laughs> you're not watching from YouTube. <laughs> I know you're not, because I always upload all the videos to YouTube. I wish I knew how to stream both at the same time. I would love to do that. Hi, Karen. Well, I, I don't know. I can't answer that. I hope they don't. Um, but if you put them on the inside of your house, you shouldn't have a problem. But if you put the rose outside, I would spray it with a Krylon non-yellowing spray, indoor-outdoor. And hopefully that would protect them. But I'm putting the staples down inside the flower. I'm not putting them up at the top. They're going down inside. So, <clears throat> you're welcome, Karen. <clears throat> So I'm, you know, like I said, you could, you know, if you're putting it on your front door and it's not out in the rain and all that, it should be okay. But I would think they would last as long as your rose lasted. Because if you're going to put your flowers outside, they are going to fade. I don't care, you know, I mean, over time, they're not going to fade by tomorrow, but any wreath you put outside over time it will fade and that's all another reason why I spray them because it does um, I mean I don't spray for my customers <clears throat> I tell them what to get and try I do spray my own things um, but even spraying you know over time they're going to fade All right, I need two more. But, I mean, no no wreath is made to last forever, of course. But they last a good long time, you know. They last quite a while. <clears throat> I know craft outlet has white 21 inch with white foil in it. I don't know about. I never buy 21 inch anymore. My husband has a cloth bag that has tools in it, and he puts it on a wreath. And I made it last year. I came close to killing. <laughs> oh. <laughs> I just saw a message from someone, but I can't. I don't know what they said have no idea. Alright, this is the wood burning tool. It's how I cut all my mesh. I do have a fan blowing right next to me sideways to uh, blow the fumes if there were fumes. I have never smelt any fumes cutting mesh but it could be because I have the fan blowing next to me.
So this does have some uh, foil in it, but it's clear foil. It's a white foil. I, don't, I guess you wouldn't call it foil. So when you do, um, all right, we have two more petals and then we're going to do the hard part of the rows, which is the outside row. I cut the mesh. All of these petals were cut nine inches, but the outside row has to be cut 10 inches. And I will show you why that is. Why that's a fact. But you really can't tell. I mean, you can cut them all 10 inches if you want to, but you really can't tell that they're cut 9 inches. So this rose uses, uh, to make one, it uses one and a half, one whole roll of mesh and a half of another roll. So it does use quite a bit of mesh. Thanks, Karen. can't wait to get the new boards that Unique in the Creek has. By the way, if you purchase from Unique in the Creek, um, click on my blue link under the affiliate, my affiliate post for Unique in the Creek. All you have to do is click on it and you'll get a percentage off. Now, I don't know what percentage since, I don't know if you guys noticed, but the boards are a lot, uh, they're lower in price now. But you still get some kind of percentage even on top of the lower price boards. So it's worth it to click on my link, my blue link. For Unique in the Creek. And the, they take it off automatically now. You don't have to put in a code. Just by clicking on my link, you'll get the discount. All right. So, as you can see, beautiful, watch Lori use butterfly board today. What is the circle board coming out? It's like a, it's just like a, I don't know if you guys have seen uh, Rita Pro's uh, boards that she modifies. She has the ring and the center. Well, uh, Lori has made just the outside ring. It, it looks like a, um, oh, it's hard to explain it. It just looks like a ring, like a, you'll have to go look at them. I don't know if they're out yet. She was having trouble. She didn't like the way they were they were bending. So um, I'm not sure if they're available yet. My grandmother loved her rose garden, and I grew up helping her. That is why I love roses. And yours is oh, thank you. I love roses too. I really, really love roses. A donut. Yeah, that would be a good way to describe it. It looks like a donut with a big hole in the middle. Yeah, it's kind of like a wireframe, only it's the unique in the creek. So, these are cut 10 inches. Now, the old boards have eight holes. I think Lori said they would be next. Oh, next week? Okay. I am now they added uh, another eight holes. I am not using all of them. Yes, it's the outer ring of the two piece modified board. So 
I made these 10 inches. The, pe the petals are the same. Yes. That's right, Karen. Um, and I put a zip tie on it. Now, the reason for the zip tie is you're going to put your other zip tie through the hole and you're going to grab the zip tie on this petal. You're welcome, Diane. Okay? So you're going to grab the zip tie on this petal and you're just going to tighten it a little bit. Don't tighten it all the way. And there's a reason for that. Don't tighten it all the way. Just leave it loose. So you're just going to leave it loose until we come around with all the petals. Now I'm going to see how far away these holes are because this board is different now. But I think it'll still work. Alright, so once you get the petal from the board, you know, grab your petal, then you would um, cut off the one that's on the petal. Thanks, Diane. So like I said, this is the hardest part. Well, kind of. Alright, so I am going to skip this hole and go to the next hole because that's the way it used to be. If you don't want to go that far, you don't have to. But I am doing it the old fashioned way. So you put your, skip the hole, go to the next hole, put your zip tie in, into the zip tie that's on your pedal. Don't, don't pull it real tight. You're going to leave it loose like that. And I try to stick my tail through there. And now is when you can tighten the one that's on the pedal and cut it off. Just keep going all the way around like that until you have all the pedals on. It's 5% now. Yeah, I figured it wouldn't be 10% because they did lower the prices of the boards quite a bit. So, but you get the lower price plus you still get another 5% off. So it's a pretty good deal if you use my link. So I don't know if you can see what I'm doing, but I'm just grabbing the zip tie that's on the pedal that I made prior. I must have cut this one off already. And then you stick your tail inside. Don't tighten it. Don't tighten it. Just leave it loose. You're going to do the same thing all the way around. Hmm. That's the hanging hole. So I'm going to put this one in here. This hole. Hi, Lois. Thank you. All right. Grab it. So the reason you're not tightening these zip ties is I'm just hopping on. I have to watch the replay for the instructions. I really don't think I could ever make that. Marlene from Canada. Girl, if I can do it, you can do it. I promise. <laughs> the reason that you leave the zip ties loose until you get all the petals in is because 
these tails right here, you are going to put them in the neighboring zip tie. And I'll show you when we get there. I just want to make sure I have enough to go every other. Because that hanging hole, all right, it works. The hanging hole kind of confused me. Too much work for me. I still haven't tried my diamond paint. <laughs> really, Pat? <laughs> oh, I know, girl. Pat, I've done three diamond painting already. I love them things. I'm hooked on them. I'll have to show you guys when we're live in group. I'll show you my diamond painting because tomorrow night I'm going to try to go live from my house and see if it makes a difference with the comments in our in my private group. Because no one will be in there blasting the TV. <laughs> my husband's going motorcycle riding. His friend, his friend came down to Florida from Michigan. He comes down every year. But this year he's a little later than usual. He likes to get out of that Michigan snow. done with this row. Almost. Now the new boards, like I say, have extra holes than they ever had before. I'm still doing the eight holes like they used to have, so I'm skipping holes. I'm not using all the holes on the outside. actually have fun making the rows. Can you show the back long enough for me to take a screenshot? Sure, Mar Marlene. Just let me get these on and I will. What time are you on with page group tomorrow? Um, Brenda, I am on at 9, which would be 8 central time. I believe. Pretty sure it's, I think you guys are an hour behind me. 8 central time. So yeah, if anyone would like to join my private group, like I said, it's $9.99 a month. Sign up with your PayPal subscription under my affiliate post. And then come on over and ask to join. Connie's Peeps VIP, an hour difference, yes, we would love to have you. Right. Sometimes this, this, glue, this staple gun, or um, glue gun here, leaves a little tail, which I don't like on the zip tie. So, I'm going to pull it. Can you see that little tail it made? I don't know if you can see it. And then I cut it off. Where do you buy the diamond painting at trying to find something for Hillary's birthday? On Amazon, I get them. I get them on Amazon. Okay, so I have one extra. How'd that happen? I don't know. But I ended up 
in the right place. Let's see. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Yep, I just cut one extra. I hate when I do that. to write down the difference in time zones so I'll always know everyone is what time everyone I know Marlene I'm bad with that too I can't ever remember what time is what half the time I miss everything because I'm screwed up with the time but I am always eastern time so I go live at nine o'clock monday i'm sorry yes monday tuesday thursday in my public page here and um wednesday afternoon and friday wednesday afternoon at two and friday evening at nine in my public or private group Alright, so let me hold this up so whoever wanted to screenshot it can do that. Let me put that back on the roll. I'm not wasting that. Can you see it? And open it up a little. I'm trying to see where the best there. Okay. This is why, and I'm going to show you why, you're welcome, why you leave your, these, this outside row um, loose. Because you are going to take each petal and put it in the neighboring zip tie. Each one of these little end pieces. So, this one is going to go over here in this zip tie, and then you're going to have this one come over here. So, once you get two in the zip ties, that's when you tighten it. Two little tails. So now this one comes over here. Alright, this one comes over here, and this one comes over here. And tighten it. Now I am going to also glue these petals in because sometimes they like to loosen from the zip ties. So I do put glue on this outside row. My, my gun is being bratty tonight. Because you never know it's going to come loose. Okay. So, 
rule of thumb is don't tighten the zip ties on the outside row until you have two. Yes, this will be on YouTube, Lori. Until you have two um, tails. I call these little things tails, the end of the petals. When you have two in the zip ties, that's when you cut, pull them tight. You're welcome. All right, so this one comes over here. And this one comes over here. make this tighter. Sprinkle, sprinkle for you. Thank you, Carol. sure on the new boards if the holes are further apart in between you know but it's working so I don't think this one's not done yet all right I don't think there's a problem all right so this one comes over here And, oh, look, I found my other petal. I missed a zip tie. Cool. Thanks, Donna. I missed a zip tie. Oh, no, I didn't. That's the hanging hole. Ugh. That always gives me, that always confuses me, that hanging hole. Alright, so this is going to go over here. I need to cut that tail. Stick it under there. comes over here so you just remember when you have two in one of the zip ties that's when you can tighten them I always keep saying I need to get myself a backup gun because I would be lost without it. here and the 
this one over here. saying clipped audio. I have no idea what that means. None. Will you be zip tie done pipe cleaners also? Will? No, it doesn't do anything for the pipe cleaners. Just the zip ties. Does nothing for pipe cleaners. Those you have to twist on. Okay, come on now, get in there. Oh, you see, I have to cut this tail. You can always tell when I didn't cut the tail. Don't you tighten yet. Do not tighten yet. We're getting down to the last one. This goes over here. And this comes over here. the new boards the holes are just a little bit further apart compared to what they used to be I mean to do every other is what I mean there's a lot of extra holes in there now so all right, so I am going to definitely glue this one. Well, I'm going to glue all of them because since it's going a pretty far in between, I think I need glue.
whole lot. going to go around and glue everything first and then come back and do the fluffing that you always have to do with a rose. There's always fluffing involved. And then we'll put the leaves on. And this rose will be done and ready to go to its new home. Don't fall. that one. Glue that one. Yep, I glued that one. How did I miss this one? Miss that one? No, I didn't miss that one, but okay. Fluffing. Elizabeth. All right, time for the leaves. So the nice thing about the extra holes that are in the rows now, thank you, is you can attach the leaves without sharing holes. It used to be you had to share the holes to attach the leaves, but you don't have to do that now. So we're going to put one here. Hi, Donna.
Diana. I'm going to put let, some here. And the leaves I cut 12 inches because you want them to stick out beyond the petals. So this is my go-to leaf petal. You pull the two ends. Well, you don't pull. You just kind of stretch them out. I mean, and then you fold them. And you put the fold side down. So I always say, make sure you have the pretty side up. Thanks, Diana. All right, cut two pieces the same length. I'll be fluffing that more. Haven't used the newer version of the board yet. How is it? It's it's okay. Um, I of course I love it for other flowers. Um, it's a long, I, I only do, hi Kimberly, how are you? I only do eight petals for the outside row of the rows. I'm thinking you could possibly do more than eight now, but that's what I was, I'm used to. So that's what I did. All right, so to put the leaves on, grab a hold of this zip tie I just put in. And stretch. I'm okay, girl. Just trying to get used to hope all the new stuff going on. Alright, gonna cut that off. And I always glue under the leaves, always. Now, go opposite, pull, yeah, I know I got two out, got your internet issues straightened out, well, the internet, I don't know, uh, he put a new modem in, but now my house phone doesn't work, so I don't know what he did with that, and... Um, I still can't see, I still can't see, uh, comments except one at a time. So it did not take care of that issue. So, unfortunately. All right, one more. To remember when you fold these leaves to turn them fold side down because you don't want the folded part facing up. So, I think 
that doing in there? All right, guys. Here you have it. The beautiful white rose. I love it. I love white roses. Thanks, Elma. I'm looking at something that needs fluffing. Where is it? I think I just got it. Thanks, Brenda. Whoops, sorry guys, I brought you for a ride. Don't need to do that. Thank you, Diana. All right. Thanks, Carol. So yeah, I love it. Love it, love it, love it. Thank you, Brenda. What am I looking at? I see it's right here. I see something right there that's bugging me. Thank you, Debbie. This is bugging me here. I need to make a little adjustment. What cause do you use your stars for? Since you get well, thank you, Kimberly. Um, the stars you get a penny for people buy the stars, and you get a penny for every star that someone purchases. Thanks, Diana. That is the purpose of the stars. It's just a little incentive. Ow, ow, ow. What color rose would be good for January? I would say any color, girl. Hi, Evelyn. Wait, but here, that's a beautiful flower. Thank you. Any color would be good for January. As far as a rose goes, I love all the colors. I was going to make... It was a toss-up between this one and the aqua one that I had. I have aqua because aqua is one of my favorites. But I went with the white. So. And I think you could use any flat, any color. There. Finally took care of that. That was bugging me. Oh, all right. I think that's all we have for you tonight. Um, I will upload this. If anyone would like a rose, they are 65 plus shipping. And I can make any color you want. I have all colors. The fabric mesh is limited to color. You know, there's yellow. There's red. There's, I do have uh, like a bluish aqua color. Um, but we could do any color. Yes, deep red. I have made deep red. I have. They're in my, uh, there is one in my Etsy shop. And, um, so if anyone would like one, just message me. Shush. Shush, Tom. <laughs> Shush, Tom. And I'd be happy to make one for you. So, all right, guys, I will be in my private group tomorrow night at 9 Eastern. Uh, if you guys are members of my private group, I will see you there. And I'll see the rest of you on Monday at 9 Eastern. Thank you for showing us how to make it. Oh, you're very welcome. Thank you for being here, Carol. Alright, I'm going to close this because I know what Tom's thinking. Thanks, Sally. Okay. I'm seeing something else. What do I see? I swear. C. 
see you tomorrow, Brenda. See all my VIP peeps tomorrow. Alright, guys. Thank you for spending your evening with me. Oh, I'm stuck on something. I have to bring that bag in. You have a great night too, Lois. Love you all. God bless you all. See you Monday. Or tomorrow if you're a VIP.